1163, Paris. An army of construction workers pulling endless loads of limestone swarm over the Ile de la Cité, an island in the middle of the River Seine. The site has been sacred for thousands of years. Now the King of France has ordered a new grand cathedral that will be the envy of all of Europe. That king was Louis VII. The cathedral is Notre Dame. To this day, among the most magnificent ever built. It would be built in a way never before seen on Earth. Notre Dame would be the length of a football field, with walls towering 100 feet into the air. Scaffolding provided a framework for lifting heavy equipment and materials, wooden braces, and stonework for constructing the vaults. An ingenious man-powered wheel crane mounted at the top of the scaffolding was used to lift the heaviest material. To build the cathedral, thousands of workers would spend their entire lives erecting these walls. By 1190, the south and north nave walls and lower vaults were erected. The western towers were also underway rising independently to the height of the great western rose window, perhaps the most famous stained glass in the world. The Cathedral of Notre Dame was finally completed in the mid 14th century, nearly 200 years after construction began. It was the symbol of an empire on the rise. Its grandeur and beauty was a harbinger of the power and glory to come.